It's a new season at the Florida Orchestra. And to talk about everything that's coming up, and let me tell you, the new assistant conductor is here with us, Chelsea Gallo. Welcome to the show, Chelsea. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So excited to have you because it's it's true. You know, we don't see a lot of women behind the conductor and like just being spotlight right front and center. First of all, I know it's a very cliche question, but how does it feel? It It really feels great. And I feel so fortunate to occupy this identity of a female conductor at this point because so many women who came before created this space for us to really not just be female conductors, but to be feminine right. female conductors, if that makes sense. It does. Yeah. It does specifically because of the instruments and everything like that. Like when you close your eyes, sometimes there's certain instruments that you kind of see men, right? And then you and then you see conductors, same scenario. You close your eyes and it's usually men. And then you see female, you're like, okay, yes. I love it. What's so great about the Florida Orchestra is it's so modern. Mm -hmm. It's so forward thinking in in changing those identities that people associate with classical music. We right. kind of have a perception problem a little that, bit. That's right, yeah. A lot of people, something that comes to mind is, you know, something from like the 1950s or the 60s. But this orchestra here, it really does a good job of looking young, being modern, programming in ways that seem fresh. Absolutely. So. Even with diversity, right? Can we talk yes, about that? I yes. mean, obviously you have a very big role right now, but you know, women of color and mm -hmm. other other minorities that are represented with the Florida Orchestra. Tell me about that. We just had a very successful concert in Vinoy Park and there was some Latin music featured on that program. Our music director, Michael Francis, is so fantastic about seeking out new works that are without argument wonderful pieces of music and they just happen to be written by a minority demographic perfect yeah. it's not filling some quota whatsoever it's finding really great music and with a really great orchestra bringing it to life i like how genuine that feels i love <laughs> it yes thank you about that and you know one of the things that i wanted to touch base is that before we started with the show you were telling me that you never thought you would be a musician it started off with sports so what was it and what yeah. made you take that turn it was, I was so lucky to have parents that encouraged me to do sports and music hand in hand. They were, they really valued extracurriculars. And, you know, I loved sports. I loved it. And I thought I was going to go to college and play softball, but I tore my ACL. Mm. So I wrote that university uh, when I lost my sports scholarship. And I said, um, hey, can, can I audition for the music school? Yeah. And to get some money that way. And they said, yes. And then after that, everything changed. I never, but when I was going to, you know, go to uh, play sports, I was going to major in math. And so this whole love of, of mathematics and science and sports, I've always kept it. And wow. it's very similar to music in a lot of ways. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And you worked with NASA too. So there was like a little program going on there. Could you tell the audience about it? Yeah, it was, it was a wonderful chance to collaborate with an institution that really saw themselves as being artistic contributors. The whole plan with NASA, especially with the, with the, the shuttle program, was to send up artists and okay. to collaborate in a way that made communicating something so intangible simpler and mm -hmm. that would be through art of course and we were able to be the recording body for the 25th hubble telescope anniversary wow we our music was on the orion tf1 mission back in 2014 or something like that it was a great chance to kind of bridge this these these worlds that mm -hmm. are so similar in so many ways very interesting yeah absolutely and you know there's a new season for florida art orchestra you were mentioning that you know diversity plays a big part of the composition and everything that you guys do. But tell me about what we can expect for this fall, because I know everything is starting soon. Right off the bat, it's a big program. It's fantastic. Our music director, Michael Francis, is just top level within the field. There's some French music that opens the program, this very dreamy kind of atmosphere that lets your mind wander. And then in the second half, you're met with a piece we all know, Carmina Burana. Oh, yes. By Orff. And you'll have heard this piece from everywhere from car commercials to you maybe singing it in choir uh, yourself or playing it, hugely popular. And as the season goes on, you're introduced to some familiar favorites and then your brand new music that you've never heard of but can relate to. Thank you so much for all that information and congratulations, Chelsea, for this opportunity. Thank you. And of course, if you want to check out all the scheduled dates for the Florida Orchestra, all the information on your screen.